If you're on version 2021 or above, for GTA materials to work, set to max legacy and restart 3 DS Max. I am working with Sweets Interior in this video, but you can easily follow along with an empty scene or a custom model of yours. For the volumetric blinds, it's easiest to create a box. We can modify the box so that the volumetrics dimensions can easily be adjusted later on. For a ray to work the way we want it to, we need to apply our rotations so they go back to zero. We can set up a shader to see the alpha and viewport. In that same material, we will also set up the checker map, which will be our main texture. For a more detailed alpha gradient, we can add in a few more edges. This helps create the illusion that it's a volumetric. The Array modifier lets us duplicate the plane and distribute it evenly in any axis. For the UVs, I will use shrink wrap. You are welcome to choose a different projection type for your own project. We can use the UVW X4 modifier to preview the UV scroll effect, but it's purely for real-time feedback in 3ds Max and will not transfer to the game. For the effect in-game, we will use a shader in MTA.
in order for the game to see this texture, we'll need to generate an image based off the checker map. The colors and transparency levels shown in this video are only a reference, and may not be accurate depending on which weather is selected in the game. This volume light won't need collision properties, only collision boundaries, which we can generate in Steve M's Collision Editor. The texture can be compressed in DXT1 without MIP mapping. In order for the object to only appear during daytime, you will need to do some scripting in MTA. For best results, enable double-sided flag in MTA.